2016, man. Disappointed! That's a long freaking year. There was some good. Depending on who you ask, there's a whole lot of bad. Like this year's like grinding to a halt, like. 81st Street. Even though we go year after year after year with the most obnoxious trends imaginable, we don't seem to learn our lesson. I think it can't possibly get dumber next year. I accept that challenge. Well, guess what? 2016, great job. I want to give you a quick list of the five most obnoxious trends for me personally that I hope and pray just disappear in 2017. The overarching theme of this list is just that, trends. I despise anything that becomes pop culture trendy and is suddenly everywhere being done by everyone. It especially ticks me off when I find myself getting sucked into it. All right, so here's five things I want to go bye-bye in 2017. In 2017, I hope that we can finally stop making stupid people famous for stupid things. Stop it. Stop it. Case in point, the dab. It's dab! Just help me out here, what the f*** is a dab? Suddenly, turning your head into the crook of your arm, but throwing your opposite arm off into space in a dramatic flare. I can't keep up with you ruffians. Take your arm and you do like, uh. This is where you're supposed to be expressing some type of emotion. I'm not really sure which emotion you're supposed to be expressing. Pipe it up. Ooh, pipe it up. Well, listen, ding dongs, if we didn't learn our lesson from T Boeing, why in the hell are we dabbing? What does it mean? What, why is this popular? What does it matter? You're trying to express something? No, you're not. You're following a popular trend, which is to make a physical move that you don't even know what the hell it means, but you do it anyway. Whoa. I just need us to stop picking up on stupid little statements and turning them into these worldwide phenomena. Which, by the way, brings me to my next item, which is bad grammar on purpose. Your grammar sucks. Look, I, I'm not a linguist. I wasn't an English major, but I have a basic appreciation for proper grammar and pronunciation. Good grammar is essential, Robin. Now I get that language changes over the course of time. Seriously, we are dumbing down our grammar to such a level. Why are you, why are you so old? But I digress. Case in point, babe. I get to see my babe tomorrow. Your babe? No, no, not my babe, Stacy, my babe. Babe? Like B-A-Y, babe? B-A-E. B-A-E. Yeah, babe. Yeah. Is my face turning red yet? Within pop culture, somebody will get lazy and decide to say a word, but abbreviate it in their own way. Oh, wait, I forgot we're supposed to be cool and interesting, so we misspell it while we're at it. Bruh. When two people are a couple, there are certain cute words that we will use to speak to each other and address each other, such as sweetie, sweetheart, or babe. Well, in our infinite pop culture wisdom in 2016, we have decided to remove the second B from the word babe and just call it bae. Hey bae, how's it going bae? You like that? Why? Because we are lazy. Why it's even more stupid is now the entire world is saying it and before you know it, it's gonna end up in a freaking dictionary. You're so old and probably gonna die soon too. I know, right? It's super sad. I really seriously hope this isn't just a function of my age, but I am just absolutely sick and tired of poor grammar being used as a driver of pop culture. Okay, so I talked about language a little bit. There's another facet of language that has changed dramatically in 2016, and that is the rise of the emoji. Apparently the whole world wants to talk to each other in emojis now, and I'm basically okay with it to a certain degree. I get it. We're a technologically advanced society now, and we're speaking in a different language, okay, fine. But there's one emoji in particular that I really, really, really was done with the minute it arrived on the scene. And that's the freaking poop emoji. 
I'm just a poop. Smiling, smiling pile of poo. Big fat talking poop. Smiling pile of poo. I just cannot, for the life of me, wrap my head around this one, guys. It's feces. Feces is not trendy. Feces is not interesting. Feces is not cool. It's warm and it stinks. And I kind of look like pudding, but I'm not. Why in the world are we decorating everything with poop emojis? Again, if I go back to the example of dabbing, what are you trying to express? Is something crappy? Are you having a bad day? I'm confused because your poop emoji is smiling at me. We bought the poop pillow. I love it. It's so cute. I just can't. And finally, the trend that I think I find the most frustrating and the most obnoxious is challenges. Kylie Jenner lip challenge, cinnamon challenge, the condom challenge, the duct tape challenge, the salt and ice challenge, cold water challenge, the pass out challenge, cooling water challenge, fire challenge. Now look, I'm, I'm part of this YouTube community now, right? I'm meeting all kinds of cool people that do all kinds of cool things on their channels. But generally speaking, I have absolutely no use whatsoever for challenges. Somebody comes up with some crazy extreme thing and says, ooh, look, I can do this. Oh, I hope I don't fail. And then it gets picked up and then everybody in the freaking world is now gonna do this stupid challenge and there's nothing being innovated or created. There are no new ideas being advanced. You're just copying a stupid stunt that you've seen 50 million other people on YouTube doing. We're doing the Carolina Reaper challenge. Carolina Reaper. Okay, I get it. You're gonna cry and get the hiccups. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you might throw up. Water bottle challenges. <laughs> it was done after like three days. And yet, at my family Christmas party the other day, here's two of my nephews. <laughs> the don't judge me challenge. You just want to make it ugly as possible. Ooh, I'm going to put stupid stuff all over my face and you're not allowed to tell me I look stupid. You know, I just interact with people that are creative, that are interesting, that come up with new things, that talk about their lives in different ways and share different perspectives. I cannot understand how this lowest common denominator of entertainment is what is dominating our pop culture right now. I just don't get it. <sighs> okay, all right. Now, I get that this probably came off as a rant more than anything else, and I'm sorry. Ranting is not what I typically do. If I have any wish for 2017, my hope and my wish would be a return to intelligence. It seemed like there was a glimmer of hope for a minute where Nikolai Tesla was cool for like five minutes. Let's go back to that. If you're gonna do pranks, let's do good deed pranks. Let's shock and surprise people by helping them instead of trying to get them to look down into a bottle and squirting water in their face. I am more than happy to see 2016 come to a close. And I sincerely hope that 2017 brings us much better standards of entertainment. I will do my part to be here to try and provide you with vlogs that entertain you, make you smile, and make you think. Because the trend that I want to see in 2017 is where people think. Let me know what you think. Was there one particular trend in 2016 that just drove you absolutely nuts? Am I completely off base about any of the five trends that I labeled here? Drop it down in the comments or come tweet with me about it on Twitter. Just to prove the point, why don't you share this video on your social media and see if we can make it a trend. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you get a kick out of what I do here, I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and come along on the journey. If you're already a subscriber and you want to keep up to date when I put up new videos, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you get the notifications. To everyone out there watching this and all my friends and family, I sincerely wish you a happy, healthy new year. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next year on the road.